What's going on, my friends? Sean Pierce Johnson here, and welcome to this week's episode of Stomp Box Saturday, where we are continuing along our journey through the Matthews Effects line with the Whaler V2 Fuzz. Now, I have played the original Whaler, and I was always taken by the fact that Rick Matthews really wanted to make his fuzz pedal something unique. He didn't want to rest on the laurels of just cloning another fuzz pedal. He really wanted to push for something all his own, something very unique that could work in a wide variety of situations. And in my opinion, he has definitely succeeded with that. And now we have the V2, which gives us just a little bit more gain, and to me, is capable of a lot more tones, usable tones, at least that I can say, from the first version. So let's go ahead, take a look at the controls on the pedal, and first and foremost, let's just admire the white whale on the Whaler V2. That is just too cool. All right, let's take a look at the controls. Output, sustain, squish, tone, and body. Now output, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? It's your output volume. It's going to be how loud you're going to be. Sustain could essentially be thought of as your gain knob, but what it's really doing is it's setting the input signal coming from your guitar. And it can really get you anything from kind of an exploding small amplifier to that gargantuan whale-esque fuzz that we heard at the top of the video. Squish is a very cool control that kind of affects the way that the fuzz compresses. You can either have it be more open to be big and gargantuan, or you can get sort of that gated, Velcro-y kind of fuzz where it's just a little bit more sputtery. Tone is going to control two different things. When you start turning it towards counterclockwise, you get a boost of lows and a cut of highs. But when you turn it up clockwise, you're getting a boost of highs and a cutting of lows. And finally, body, which is just the mid-range of the fuzz. So you can get the kind of scooped mid-range thing, or you can boost the mids to your heart's content to have something really blooming and quite tasty, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and dive into seeing how much gain we have here on the pedal. I'm gonna leave all knobs at noon, but we're gonna mess with that sustain knob and see how that affects the overall fuzz sound. I have my trusty Les Paul plugged into a TC Polytune 2, which is a true bypass tuner going into the Whaler V2. That's going into the front end of the Rocker Verb 100, and any echo and reverb are gonna be coming from a TC Flashback 2 and a native audio ghost ridge in the effects loop. So let's listen to this thing. <laughs> just from that control, how much of that is really affecting the input. The gain kind of always stays somewhat the same, but it's how hard you're hitting that clipping section that's really affecting how much gain you're getting. You have this nice little low gain thing going on. <laughs> But if you want something big and gargantuan, it 
it's really an amazing thing to to listen to. And each sound, even though we haven't messed around too much with the other settings, you can very clearly hear how it, this feels like a good starting point. Now let's move on to listening to the squish control, which affects essentially, as I hear it, the compression of the fuzz. Let's go ahead and leave the sustain at 12 o'clock, and we'll go ahead and sweep that knob so you can hear how it's kind of choking everything. that when you start messing with the tone and the body, you really start to hear. So let's go ahead and listen to the sweep of the tone knob now. Going back to noon on the squish. <laughs> tell from that that this could also work very well for bass. That's a very good amount of lows that if you wanted to keep that precious low end on your bass, this might be a good option for you. Now let's check out the body and see what that does. <laughs> on the sustain and the squish is that the range isn't so great at these current settings, but you can sort of hear and more feel the effect that they're going to have once you start moving the tone and the body, which have a much more extreme range to them. It kind of is opening the world up to hearing what this pedal is capable of. So I think the best way to show off what this thing is capable of is showing you some of the sounds that I've been able to conjure up with the Whaler V2. We're gonna use the trusty Les Paul, but I'll also bring in a couple other guitars to show you just how cool this pedal can be.
it, my friends. That was the Whaler V2 fuzz from Matthew's Effects. Now, my favorite thing about the Whaler is that it's unique. It's its own thing. It's not a fuzz face, not a big muff, not a insert fuzz pedal name here on the dotted line provided for you. It's its own thing. And that is something that I feel is sorely missing in effects pedals these days. I love the flexibility of the control. You can get a lot of different sounds just from the knobs, but once you start bringing in other guitars and plugging into different amplifiers, you get more great tones. That's really the best part about gear and kind of collecting it is that no two combinations ever feel 100% the same. But all in all, I'm having a ton of fun with it, and it is definitely fitting that it is called the Whaler, and we have the White Whale on it, too. All in all, I am having a ton of fun exploring the depths of the Whaler, and I hope you all enjoyed the demo today. And if you did, please let me know in the comments section below. But don't stop there. All in all, I am a... All in all, I am having a ton of fun exploring the depths of the Whaler, and I hope you guys enjoyed the demo of it as well. And if you did, please let me know in the comment section below. But remember, our Matthews Effects journey is not done yet. Click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and come back and join me on Tuesday for our demo and review of the Matthews Effects Astronomer. Until then, my friends, I wish you all a fantastic weekend, great tone, and happy stomping. Cheers.